Hello everybody, it's the 100th TCG video and to commemorate it I want to do something special. So we'll be doing like this today about TCG. I have invited the best TCG players in the whole world, my friends, and they'll be competing to see who knows the most about the game. Uh, you the viewers can also participate. Whenever you see a green bar at the bottom of the screen that means that you should pause the video and think of an answer. Uh, the points are simple, easy questions are worth 1 point, medium ones are worth 2 points and the hard ones are worth 3 points. Uh, partial points can be given for partial answers. Also one more important note is that this was recorded in the previous version, 4.2. So there may be some inaccuracies due to version differences but you know that uh, that's uh, unavoidable and it's probably it won't matter that much. Now then, are you guys ready? Alright. Let's begin. So, we'll start off with the easy questions, then move on to the medium ones, and then move on to the hard ones. So the first category that we'll do is as simple as it sounds. Uh, yes or no questions. Well, I mean, nobody studied for this, but you know, you're, you're a professional, you know all the answers already, you don't even need to study or, you know, pre prepare anything. Okay, first question. Will Rana activate if you only have one character on the field? Yes or no? Okay, well, congratulations, and you are incorrect. Um, Elgris and Koropka, you are correct, and you get one point each. Uh, let's move on to the next question. Does Ellen stack? If you use two of her, will you have double the effect? Okay, so once again, uh, everybody is correct except Zen. She does in fact stack and two Ellens will have a uh, dice reduction by two. It's like, you know, the new meta, you can go and uh, use her. <laughs> it's like the very old meta, but uh, you know, just, just call it new. Okay, next question, and this one is also very simple. Does Master Zhang stack? Uh, yep, you are all correct. He does in fact stack. Okay, the next question. Given this situation, uh, you have an alt account, you enter co-op with the alt account, then you start fighting against uh, your alt account and your alt account immediately surrenders. Is it possible to farm proficiency this way? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do realize and understand that that's cheating, but is it actually possible to, to pull this off? Uh, yes, so it seems that Elgris is correct. It is in fact possible. I, I have tested this on many occasions. Uh, uh, you do get proficiency, so... Uh, if you want to get the talent cosmetics, you know, easily, just, just get an alt account and just... Uh, do some fake games, like, it, it works, like, you get proficiency easily. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they probably do need to fix that, it's, uh, it's a bit of an exploit, I would say. But, I mean, it's just proficiency, like, it literally does not matter. Alright, uh, let's proceed to the next question. Does stone and contracts stack? Okay, the stone and contracts cards does not stack. Uh, you get, uh, if you use two of them, uh, you use up six dice, but you only get uh, one effect, so literally three dice uh, goes to waste and, and nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, it is it is a scam, so uh, yeah, it is, it's not stated anywhere as well, so you, you're just supposed to know that. Uh, these questions, these are yes or no questions, these are 50-50, and you know, Zen, uh, right now you're, uh, um, you're, you're kind of... <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of failing the 50-50. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right. Anyway, let's let's move on. Okay, this next question is is a simple one. Can you bring multiple arcane cards into into a match? That is indeed correct, you are all correct. You can indeed bring multiple arcane cards into a match, but you can only use one. Next question. Will Yae Miko's Tenko Thunderbolts activate if you kill her using Wind of Freedom? 
Uh, okay, so, um, Korobka, I don't know what you mean by that, but unfortunately you are incorrect. Uh, they will not activate because it is still your turn, it is not the opponent's turn, so uh, the Thunderbolts uh, will not activate until you end your turn or pass it to the opponent. Next question, and this is the last one from this category. Will this little child get sent to the orphanage if your opponent already has four supports on their side? <laughs> okay, um, then unfortunately you are, you are incorrect, he's gonna stick around. Uh, you can't get rid of him that easily, uh, you know, he, he, he really doesn't wanna go back to the orphanage, so... Uh, uh, so yeah, you're not gonna get one point for that, but you know, that's enough questions for this category. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, okay, so next category is card design, and this category is very simple. I'll just send you uh, an image uh, that is featured on a card, and you have to tell me which card uses uh, this, this design, this image. <laughs> it's a uh, one card uses this design. I mean, I I don't think it's uh, it's that terribly difficult to guess which which card this is. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's hint number one. It looks like Liyue, sure, but uh, you know which which Liyue card has has this design. Well, I mean, it it, it could be, but I mean, I'm, I'll give you a hint. It's it's not. I mean, talent cards would be like really obvious. All right. Well, uh, I mean, it's 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 kind of simple. Like, yes, you are correct. It it is Covenant of Rock. I suppose we can move on to the to the next one. Um, which card design has this? It's Goro's ass. <laughs> it it is very easy. It is very easy. It's not that hard, man. Come on, these are these are easy ones. What will you do when you go to the hard ones? <laughs> okay, okay. So okay, Goro isn't in the game, but okay. So so I'll give you a hint. Uh, let, let's let's think it out. I mean, uh, Goro. Who who likes Goro? You know. Yeah, exactly. And um, which card has Kokomi? <laughs> I gave you a little hint there. Uh, yes, you all got it correctly. It is in strategize one point for each of you. Uh, let's move on to the next category. Okay, question number one, and this is an easy one. Uh, if you use uh, the artifact shift card and you shift the artifact from one character to another character which already has an artifact, uh, what happens? Uh, yes, you are all correct. I mean, your your professionals. I I assumed you would know this. Easy. Okay, this question is easy. Uh, explain one possible method to force an opponent to discard their cards. So you need to describe a method uh, that would force an opponent to lose action cards. So like they have no choice but like to burn them or something like that. You know, think about it. Give me a good answer. Okay, then. So I'm afraid your 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 answer is not quite uh, quite quite correct. So I won't be giving you a point for that one. Uh, okay, Elgris, I, I really like that answer. Uh, I will give you the full point for that one. That that's a that's a very clever solution. I I really like that one. Uh, okay, Korobka, I I get where you're going with this. It's a it's a it's a it's a bit of a thinker, but uh, yeah, sure, I'll give you a point for that one. It's. It, it, Mm. I, it's it's. I don't think it's a very good answer, but you know, it's it's an answer that's technically true. So sure, you can have a point for that one. Uh, some additional answers that you could also uh, say there are a bit more technical methods. So one method is uh, if you use pancreation when your opponent has ten cards and then end your turn, that would burn two of his cards. <laughs> 
Uh, another way is to force um, normal damage or piercing damage if your opponent is using Chang the, the ninth uh, on his side and has 10 cards. Uh, another way is if you have the King's Artifact and force an elemental reaction. Uh, there are multiple methods, uh, you know, your answers are, are also correct, uh, it's, it's, it's an easy question, you know, it's, it's not a hard one. Okay, let's move on to the next category then, which is uh, what to do. And in this category, this category is quite simple, uh, I will give you a game state and you just have to tell me which is the best maneuver in this game state, um, which actions should you take in order to ensure uh, the best possible outcome yeah exactly it's it's like chess i'll give you i'll give you the board and you have to tell me where to move the pieces <laughs> uh yes okay so we'll start off with an easy one and and this is this is uh, it's this one <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can see uh, <laughs> one of the players is you. <laughs> uh, yes, you are all correct. <laughs> okay, you, can you tell me what you did in this situation? <laughs> you just end the turn. <laughs> you did not win this game. <laughs> you lost this game. <laughs> yeah yeah yes you are okay <laughs> let's 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 move on to the uh, to the next one then all right uh, let's go easy number two uh what would you do in this situation <laughs> do you uh, do you see who you who your opponent is <laughs> Yeah, yes, exactly. You you performed the burst with Kai. <laughs> so uh, let's see if if you can uh, fix your mistakes here and uh, what would you actually do in this situation? <laughs> yeah, so you're all correct. I'll I'll let you guys have that one. I I, I just wanted to roast uh, Elgris a little bit. <laughs> okay, next category, simple one. You just have to pick a character, and you have to pick a character that fits. Simple enough. So, the first question. Uh, what character fits here? You have this setup, and you need to pick a character. Character that works, that has synergy. Um, it's simple enough, I think. There are multiple answers available, obviously. Uh, yeah... Yeah, yeah, you're all correct. Those all work here. Uh, you each get one point. Okay, then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, also an easy one. Uh, which character would fit here? <laughs> you, <laughs> you really love your Bona Clear, right? <laughs> you really love me. Okay. Um. Interesting choice, Chi Chi. Yeah, okay, Chi Chi would work here. That's that's an interesting setup. Yeah, I'll give you a point for that one. And yeah, the rest of you are now also correct. I mean, those may not be the best choice, but they're certainly a good choice. Okay then, uh, these were easy ones. Let's let's move on to the next category. The next category is card knowledge. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to answer these ones. These ones are also easy. Okay, so this category is very simple. I'll just give you a card and you'll have to tell me what it does and also any additional questions that I might ask. Okay, so can you tell me what this card does? It's, it's a simple one. Okay, so um, Zen and Koropka, uh, you, you're very close, but you forgot one condition, and that condition is that your opponent must have not ended their turn yet, and um, unfortunately I can't give you uh, the point for that one because your answer is missing some information. So, uh, uh, Elgris, you get one point, and we move on to the next question. Uh, tell me what this card is and under what conditions does it activate? 
Uh, yes, you are all correct. This is an Azumara so I mean, uh, it's it's a simple one, and you got it correctly. Let's move on to the final category. Category name is called Other Questions. So, for the per first question in the other category, tell me, guys, which is the better boy? No, we are we, we are serious here. We, we are only asking serious questions. Okay, there 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 are no jokes here. Jokes are not allowed. I mean, the answer is obvious. There's only but like one choice, right? Exactly. I mean, y you all get it, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Timmy is not gonna <laughs> go to your opponent. <laughs> not like that. In a Zuma kid. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like that meme, you know. Mom, can we have a Timmy? No, we have a Timmy at home and, and <laughs> Timmy at home. <laughs> you you have Timmy and then you have Timmy from Wish.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's move on to the next question then. Uh, easy one, another one. So, uh, what's gonna happen if the arena of champions uh, waiting time reaches zero? And you need to be specific about the answer. Okay, so the answer to this one is uh, the interface closes and you get no message, no nothing. You just have to queue. It's just... Uh, ex exits you out of the out of the interface out of the menu um okay so um i don't know about that maybe maybe you're you're on mobile right maybe there's a setting uh, okay well maybe there's a setting somewhere i i tested this only on the uh, pc so if you're on mobile maybe it's different or maybe there's some sort of setting in the in the settings but uh, uh, I'm not gonna give you the point for that one okay maybe the viewers know something and they can leave a comment if 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 it's if that's actually true but I tried it and that's not how it works so I'm not gonna give you the point for that one okay so now we're done with the easy questions we will move on to the medium ones and we will go uh, through the categories again so which card has this design? <laughs> I took it without permission. <laughs> no, no, uh, I, I borrowed it, you know, without permission, with no intent of giving it back, okay? <laughs> it, it's some potato chips, I think, baby, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um... It's 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 food. I mean that's that's the one hint that you're gonna get. <laughs> it can be any card. Uh, it 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 could be a support card. It could be e even a summon. Summons are technically cards as well. So e even those are, are possible. I, I'm not I'm not saying anything. You know I'm I'm not trying to influence you. I'm just saying that you know it, it is technically possible for 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 this to be a summon. You know I, I don't know if it is. I mean I think it's 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 just guess just guess. Okay, well I mean I I, I think I think it's quite simple and uh, yeah it's it, it's it's Chef Mao. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you uh, you didn't say that, so uh, let's move on to the next one. Which card has this artwork? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. So you see, you see their arrows. They're they're jumping. Okay, they're jumping. That's that's the hint. I mean, you, you can you can you can guess. <laughs> Okay, you, you, then you're a professional at this game, okay? This, this, this is simple stuff, like, you know all of this, all of these things, okay? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, you are correct, it is plunging strike or, or plunging attack, it's, it's that card. I, I mean, then you, you even said jumping, you know, you even saw the arrows, uh, like, that, that was a big hint. Okay, whatever. Move on to the next one. So, if you use two of these cards, which are called Rhythm of the Great Dreams, 
Uh, how do they work in terms of uh, reducing weapon cost or artifact cost? Uh, yeah, so as usual, you're all correct except Zen. Uh, and uh, two points for each of you except Zen. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, Kokomi has the Dendro application and she is gonna use the self uh, hydro cleanse. Uh, on top of that, you also have the Nilo's elemental skill effect. So in this situation, basically, uh, are you gonna get a Dendro core or a Bountiful core and who is gonna get that core? Ah, yeah, you're, you're, you're all correct. I didn't expect you to, to get this, but well done. You know, two points for each of you. We'll move on to the next category then, uh, which is uh, what to do, medium questions. So, uh, given this position, uh, what would you do? Uh, there's a bunch of shit you can do, but you know, what would be the, the ideal solution? Yeah, but you know, you have cards, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, that is true, the opponent has no cards, which makes it easy for, 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 for you. Uh, yes, he has uh, three dice, and uh, you know how luck works in this game, right? Your opponent gets the <laughs> exact dice that he needs. Okay, so then... Um, you messed up the order of operations, okay? You needed to do courtyard first, uh, razor second, but it's, I'll have to deduct one point for that, but you know, the rest of your answer is fine. If, if, if you hadn't messed that up, you would have gotten another point. Uh, yeah, Karopka is uh, completely correct. Okay, Elgris, uh, you need you need to think before you answer. Okay, um, I I I told you this. You can only answer once, and once you start answering, you can't change your answer. So, um, I mean, you you, you can't lose the situation. You would most likely win next round anyway. It's, it's just, but uh, I'll have to deduct one point for that one. So, so the difficult thing here was to find the. Uh, correct order of operations and um, well one of you succeeded so let's move on to the next question uh, yeah you're all correct uh, there, there is only one move here it's to switch to cube and and do rock paper scissors I mean you'll win regardless but that's the most efficient uh, route and I'm glad that you noticed it all right, so uh, let's move on to the other questions now. Uh, the other category, uh, which is uh, pick a character. And we'll begin with the medium questions. So in the medium questions, uh, you also have to take in the, into the account the action cards. And these will also be uh, brought uh, alongside. So you have to select a character that fits. So, I mean, like, what what do you think? Would 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 she work here? <laughs> no, no, you you cannot remove any of these cards. I mean, that, that that's what de defeats the the purpose of the question. <laughs> All right, all right, Elgris, Elgris, you you, you, you fell for the bait. I put the I put the geo artifact in as bait. I, I mean, sure, you can use Ningguang, but it's like... fine. I'll I'll give you one point. I'll give you one point. The rest of you get two points. But like that that was obviously bait. Like Denro and Geo, they, they just don't work together. Okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Just some, some, uh, some uh, 200 IQ plays. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but but okay, you know, maybe here, yeah, maybe if you can uh, justify it, you know. Yeah, alright, you're, 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 you're all correct. Uh, and two points to each of you. Uh, let's move on to the medium questions in card knowledge now. 
let's see how well you know the cards. So there are some specific cards, some event specific cards, some cards that are uh, used under special conditions. Um, this specific card is known as Withering Corrosion. Uh, now your job is to tell me what it does. I will give you a very big hint. Uh, it is the first name of the card, Withering. That's gonna be your hint. Yes, so good guesses, uh, unfortunately only Korobka is uh, correct. Um, there are actually two effects, it appears in, in two different places. Uh, it appears when fighting NPCs, if, if you... Uh, if basically each time an NPC deals damage, the card gets one counter. If the, car, if the counter reaches four or five, uh, you lose the game immediately. Okay, so for the next question in card knowledge, uh, we're gonna see, do you know what this card is? So, you get one point for telling me how much it costs, and you get another point for telling me its effect. Okay, so you're correct, except Elgris who's wrong about the price reduction, and except Zen who's wrong about everything. So, uh, zero points for Zen, one point for Elgris, and uh, two points for Korobka. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next category, which is other questions. Okay, so this is a simple question that uh, every TCG player should know. Uh, in which order will the shields activate? <laughs> I, I cheated, of course. That's the only way to get this. <laughs> Right, uh, yeah, uh, Zen and uh, Korobka, that's how you want them to work, but that's not actually how they work. Um, Elgris was on the right track, so uh, <laughs> unfortunately Lotus will not activate first, so the, the true answer is that uh, it will be in the way that it is uh, written, listed, so it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so the way that uh, th this sort of stuff works uh, is that uh, character status takes priority over team combat status. Um, and uh, the way that character status works is that it actually works based on seniority, so the oldest effect will activate first. And the way that the icons are laid out is also in this order, so uh, the oldest icon in this case is the unmovable mountain, then the ages of uh, flame, and, and then the lotus flower. So they will activate in that exact order, so first the unmovable mountain, then the ages of flame, and then the lotus flower. After the character status is activated, the team combat status will activate, uh, so crystallize, uh, jade screen, and full plate. And uh, that is how they work. Uh, this is a core game mechanic that uh, the game doesn't teach you about. Uh, order of operations, seniority, all, all that sort of stuff. And, and, and I think, I think, I also think that it's messed up. But, you know, that's how the game is. And I can't do anything about it. So then, uh, we move on to the second medium question. Uh... Uh, you have this Ito. This Ito here has a lot of effects. Uh, you need to tell me what each of these icons are. And you know, there are obviously multiple possible answers. And now that you know how seniority works, I'm sure this, this, this won't be a difficult task for you. Uh, right, Zen, uh, you got two incorrect. Uh, number two cannot be Ushi Shield because Ushi Shield goes on the outside uh, team combat status, and number six cannot be Adeptus uh, because it would go on the inside. It also has a different icon. So, unfortunately, zero points for you because you got two incorrect. Um, Koropka. Uh, you also got Ushi Shield incorrect. Number two cannot be Ushi, Shi Ush Ushi Shield. So uh, that's the only one you got incorrect. So one point for you. 
Uh, Elgris, uh, you got uh, number 6 incorrect, so I will also have to deduct 1 point and uh, you also get only 1 point. Right, easy and simple. Like, okay, well, I mean, these are medium ones, these, these, these are slightly harder. Uh, okay, so we're done with the medium questions now, and these were worth two points each. So now we'll be going on to the hard questions, which are worth three points each. And uh, these ones are hard, so uh, get ready, be prepared. The first, um, the first question is, which card uses this design? <laughs> it's Primo Gems, okay? It's Primo Gems. Okay, okay, guys, uh, you you need to be more specific. Uh, there are there are two Paimon cards. Okay, uh, which 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 one? Which one? <laughs> uh, Elgris, unfortunately, you are incorrect. It is actually the free dice Paimon. Uh, so I will be deducting one point from that. You will get two points. So um, yeah, close enough. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're not gonna have any problem identifying where this card design is used, okay? <laughs> it's, it, it's a puddle of water, okay? <laughs> yeah, those, uh, what are they called? Z Xenomorphs or something? I don't know. Uh, are those your final answers? Uh, what, what are your final answers? Okay, so it's the ocean it summons, specifically either the frog or the squirrel. The, the bird uses a different texture. Um, uh, uh, okay, so Karopka, you got it right, so three points for you. And Algris, uh, Zen, you, you are both really close. I'm, I'm gonna give both of you two points, actually. Alright? Okay, I'm gonna give you both two points, and let's move on to the next one, which is... Uh, game mechanics So question number one If your opponent has an electro ambusher effect from the Fatui Rezo card and you were to use another Fatui Rezo card to grant another electro Fatui ambusher uh, How would that work? What would happen? This is a trick question. So think carefully Oh my gosh you're all so smart wow uh yeah so uh i did do testing for the purposes of this video and i tested this card just to uh, make sure and double check and what i found actually was very interesting this card is not actually random now i i, I don't i'm not really sure how it works uh, but uh, it says it has a 25% chance. Uh, that is not true. Uh, what I found is that it either depends on your characters, your party characters, or uh, your active character, or the opponent's characters. I'm not really sure. But when I tested it, I used 32 of these cards, and I never got the Electro Rezo once. So that's that's way beyond probability. So. So I'm pretty sure this card, uh, this card's effect is, is is a bit of a lie. And yes, as you mentioned, it is impossible to get two of the same element uh, unless the first one is used, uh, even though that's not written on the card. And as Elgris mentioned, uh, yes, if you could get two of the same, it would only stack up to two, not three. So, uh, wow, you're you're real professionals. You're real professionals. You you figured this this out. Right, let's move on to the next one then. So, this is a simple one. Uh, all I need you to do is to tell me uh, which cards have the text once per round. Specifically that text, once per round. Okay, okay, so uh, you all got Tubby correct, that, that's true. Uh, Tenshu Kaku does not have the the phrase once per round. It has uh, only the phrase uh, during the start of your turn or uh, after draw phase or something like that. Don't really remember. Um, Guard of Avail has uh, once per round, uh, and then uh, Northern Smoke Chicken does not have uh, once per round. It has the next normal attack. 
Anthelonia's library also has the phrase uh, during the draw phase or something like that. Uh, and then there is actually another card that has the term once per round and it's the spear. Uh, so uh, to conclude it's card number 3, 6 and 7 that have the terms once per round. The rest don't. One point for Zen, two points for Kropka and one point for Elgris. Alright, let's move on. Our next category is what to do and hard questions this time. Okay, so the question is simple. You are presented with this situation. Uh, you have a lot of utility and your opponent also has a lot of utility. I mean, he has a full deck. So, um, yeah, you need to... You need to make the best move here, or the best series of moves, and, uh, and, you know, win. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, your active character is Dory. It, it's not Wanderer. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Okay, uh, you're giving this situation up. Okay, so, the <laughs> make your move. <laughs> I mean, uh, you have it, so, you know, you can use it if you want to. I don't know. All right, let's see your answers. Okay, so it seems that all of you got it correct. So, the difficult thing here is that you have a lot of utility and you have a lot of options. And out of these options, you need to identify the correct one. And you only have one correct option here. Uh, you have a fast switch to Kuching uh, and use her elemental skill to kill Dia. That is, that is literally your only option. Uh, then use the Electro Rezo on Wanderer and finish him off. Uh, that is basically literally your only move, your only available move. So yeah, congratulations, all of you got it correct. And I mean, if in on the off chance that he does use something, you have enough utility to counter. Uh, if you perform these moves, you will you will be fine. Uh, yeah. So, congratulations, three points for all of you. Nice, very nicely done. But let's see if you'll be able to do as nicely with the next one. Uh, what would you do in this situation? <laughs> I mean, you don't have very good dice in this one, so uh, you, you, need to, you need to carefully think over your decisions. Uh, well, I did not specify that, and I mean, it's yellow, so it's gonna be at least one, and it's gonna be at least one regardless, because uh, that's how much it gives you, so we'll, we'll just say it's one. You do have the Benny's Talent Burst, but Benny's Talent Burst is only for this turn, so uh, think carefully, think carefully, my friends. Uh, okay, we have lots of different answers. So, uh, Zen, Koropka, uh, you, 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 you do the burst, you, you kill his Kali, and uh, he equips a VGS, and then performs an elemental skill. So he has two Claymore users, and the, the difficult thing here is that you had to foresee that he would have uh, a VGS. And once he uses the elemental skill, you're on 10 HP and you're forced to end turn, and he uses the elemental skill again and you lose, and uh, GG. Um, now, uh, Elgris, you actually got the answer correct. Uh, what you need to do in this situation is actually equip the bell. Uh, because the bell will give you one shield, which will put you on 11 health. And uh, you can actually kill his uh, Kali with the elemental skill. You don't need to use the burst. And you can save the burst for next round. So, once you equip the bell, you will have uh, 11 HP. Uh, and uh, you will be, at the end of the turn, you will be left with uh, just 2 HP. Uh, so you can heal up next turn with your artifact and then you can unleash the burst and you know uh, most likely win So yeah, three points to Elgris, uh, zero point to Zen and Koropka and let's move on to the next category 
so the next category is pick a character and this one will be hard so for the hard section it's also very important that you take into account not only the uh, elements and the action cards but also the resonance so you have to pick not just a very good character but the best character uh, if you want to get full points so uh, let's proceed given this situation uh, which is the best character to use Okay, so you correctly identified that you need a bow character. Uh, that's true, except uh, Algris picked Klee. Oh, why, why did you, why did you pick Klee? <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, you have the action cards, and and the action cards like you need to take them into account and. Y Okay, fine. You know what? I'll give you one point. Okay, you get one point. Yeah, and um, official official works, uh, but you don't get the rezo, so there's still some uh, uh, potential left uh, on the table. Amber also works, but you also don't get uh, the, the the full effects. Uh, so I'll give you two points for both of you. Uh, the best choice here is actually Kujo Sara because you get Inazuma Rezo. Uh, Tainari would not work here because uh, you have Cryo and Dendro and they don't really mix. So that was bait. Um, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited to see that you didn't fall for the bait, uh, but uh, you know, the, uh, still a bit of room for improvement. But that's okay, we can move on to the next one and we can see if you improve on the next one. So. Given these characters, uh, which would be the best character here? Okay, um... Uh, okay, Korobka, why, why Raiden? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, that's, that's, that's not a good answer. Uh, uh, zero points for that one. Um... Uh, Okay, then uh, Mona doesn't really work here. Um, uh, so, so the correct answer is uh, Kaya, uh, as Elgr said. Um, uh, so the reason for that is because you have um, Monstead Rezo and you have uh, uh, two sword users, and you can actually use a Weapon of Mastery. Uh, the other cards are bait, uh, but those are the actual ones that you need to focus on. And yeah, you got that correctly. Uh, it does not. Uh, you are incorrect. <laughs> and this is a situation where you can actually use them. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, let's move on to the next category, which is card knowledge. Let's see if you can answer these questions. Okay, so for three points, for one point, you need to tell me which card is which. And then you need to tell me which card has what effect. Uh, each e each explanation of a card is worth one point, and uh, you get one point if you tell me which card is which. So, what do you think? Oh wow! Okay, that's that's a lot of text. So, yes, uh, you have uh, correctly identified. Uh, the left one is Kazuha, the right one is Venti. One point for that one. So, um, left one, uh, Kazuha's talent, uh, you all got it correct. Uh, after an element is swirled, uh, you will get uh, the an increase of plus one damage when you do damage of that element. And uh, you have two uses just for that. Uh, so, um, uh, for, 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 for Venti's talent, uh, yeah, I don't know why you never used it, but okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Korobka got it right, and Elgris, it's, uh, it's normal attack, not plunging attack, but, uh, ah, I'll give you that point, sure. Okay, three points for uh, Elgris, three points for Korobka, two points for Zen. Okay, so in this game there exists some um, non-playable monsters. Mm. Just like with uh, characters, they have a normal attack, an elemental skill and a burst. 
um, this particular monster is called the Hydro Samachurl. Now, could you tell me what his normal attack, elemental skill, and uh, elemental burst is? <laughs> I I hope you uh, I hope you know. Uh, okay, uh, interesting guesses. Unfortunately, uh, most uh, mostly incorrect. <laughs> so um, th these are the actual um, abilities. Uh, now, Korobka, you did in fact uh, get the elemental skill mostly correct. So uh, I will get give you one point for that one because that's kind of surprising that you actually knew that. Uh, but other than that, um, all of you, uh, all of you are not getting any points, and uh, uh, the normal attack does one physical damage, not two. <laughs> all of you got that wrong. <laughs> okay, we move on to the final category now, which is other questions. The last two questions in this game. Uh, let's see if you know them. So, uh, for this one, uh, could you tell me what weapons do these characters use? Okay, so you guys are uh, uh, almost correct. So, uh, uh, Child uses a bow, that's right. Jung Jung uses a claymore, that's right. Uh, but Sisson Mage, but to say that Sisson Mage doesn't use a weapon is uh, technically not correct. Uh, so, uh, the thing is that uh, in the game, she, her weapon type is technically other weapons. It's a weapon type that has no weapon cards, uh, but she still technically uses the weapons. There's just no cards for it. So, the correct answer would be other weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm for it. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna... Okay, it's my game. I'm, t I'm saying that she does use a weapon, there's just no cards in the game, so so no, I'm not giving you the point for that, two, two points for uh, all of you, okay? Like, look at this picture, okay? You look at this picture and you tell me that, that she doesn't use a weapon, huh? Okay, okay, let's move on to the final question then, and uh, this, is, this is probably the hardest question in the game, okay? We're saving the hardest question for last. So, simple question. So, connect the correct name to the correct card. I'm I'm sorry, but but you know, we save the hardest one for last. Okay. So, the answer to this question is 2A 1B 3C. <laughs> Congratulations to Elgris who got everything wrong. <laughs> Well, well, now we enter the end of the game. So, the total amount of points that you were able to get is 80, and these are your results. So, uh, congratulations. And uh, you, the viewers at home, uh, can also comment how many points you got. Though, um, I'm sure you got all of them. I'm, I'm sure you didn't make a single mistake. And uh, to summarize everything, I just, uh, just want to say... Uh, Thank you, we did it, we reached uh, 100 videos, I I wasn't really expecting that. It's been a long road reaching the 100 video mark and um, you know, I, I do want to say I couldn't have done it without you, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really a liar, like uh, I'm, I'm not gonna give my uh, credits off to anyone else, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, uh, it's 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 still an important thing, and uh, here's to the next 100 videos. You know, maybe, maybe I'll get there one day. Maybe I won't. Who knows? The future is unpredictable, and uh, who knows when my motivation will run out. Uh, but you know, until then, I'll I'll still be here. I'll still be posting TCG videos, and uh, you know, if you wanna see that. You can go ahead and drop a sub, drop a like, and uh, do all of that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you in video 101, I guess. Goodbye.